you know, uh, we, were, we were having some of these uh, visits and uh, one of our cousins was saying, it is no more proper to say blessed Christmas. You could say happy holiday. You couldn't on the street greet another person saying blessed Christmas. You could say happy holidays instead. And this cousin of mine, when she was saying, I cannot send my children to the public school because the way they teach is all against the word of God. They don't allow you to pray. They don't allow you to talk about the Ten Commandments. They don't allow you to do anything about the creation model. They would want to inculcate a generation which is following the Dharma theory. Blasphemers of God. And she is, I don't know how she is managing, she is not, I mean, actually, that's, well, she is my cousin's wife, and uh, he's on the same age as me, and he passed away recently. And she is having these children, three of them, homeschooled. She would sit with them and homeschool these children. But that's the kind of time that we are living in. You can't even send your children to school anymore because the children will be bothered. So the mother and the father need to take the responsibility and sit at home and homeschool. We are not living or talking about times which are yet to come. It is already here. Many will come saying they are Christ. I said not one. Shandam. Can you tell them about another name? Very famous. Yes. Alphonse Sama. All our masks exist. Masks becoming masks. But let me tell you another famous name. Sai Baba. Sai Baba says, My next incarnation is Jesus Christ. Satya Sai Baba, right? I mean, obviously, they're going from India. The Indian girls. Many will come saying they are Christ. First John 2 and 18 says, Little children, this is the last time. As they have heard that the Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. So you need to know when you start to see these things, that what kind of time you are living in. The spirit of Antichrist is seen through the media and films. So happen to these days. Fast transportation development. Oh, we just talked about church. Church will become, oh, I have missed it, you know. <laughs> you are so hot and hot fire for the Lord that I missed it. <laughs> church will become lukewarm. Which church are we talking about? The church on the other street, right? <laughs> the church is so on fire that this week you will have great attendance in the sanctification week. Amen. 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 The church is so on fire, there will not be a space to put our leg in in the houses that we are going to. Amen. Because the churches are going to be smaller than this. I mean, the houses. <laughs> right? And you're going to have, I don't know, whoever has told that they will host us. Thank God for them. But I pray for them too. Because the whole church is going to be there. How many of us are with us? Amen. Can I see hands? Commitment Amen. for the sanctification week. Who are you sanctifying? Pastor Nellis? <laughs> <laughs> or Pastor Mano? Or Pastor Adil? Who do you want to get sanctified? Me. 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 Amen. Amen. It is for you. You are not going for anyone else. Let me remind you. This is your story. Not about anybody else. You're not doing a favor for God to become for the sanctification week. You're coming for yourself. You have to humble yourself, not humble past tense. Please. <laughs> he is a humble man already. <laughs> but he is preparing himself to humble himself again. Amen. 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 I mean, that's the kind of attitude we have. Sanctification week. It's not for somebody else. 
So I believe this whole week will be a full attendance week. Where we will have great things happening. I'm telling you, great things are going to happen. Amen. Amen. And even tonight when you leave from here, you will go with fire and Amen. Fast transportation development. Think of it, even right now as we speak. There are pastors and preachers who have jets. Why do they have this? Tina says, I don't know. It's basically because we are not doing our job. They have to go all around the world. Mm. They have to get to places in much faster pace. They may be preaching in London and then they will be preaching in New York the same, same day. When did this happen before? When in which era or which generation has this happened before? Think of the time that we are living in. We could even come, uh, even just us, I, mean, I, I know with Chiba and I, we have gone to uh, uh, US, attend another meeting, then come back to Canada, then attend another meeting. So this, this is happening. This is already happening. Transportation is fast. Before you think you can get to the place where you are, or where you want. Disasters throughout the world, signs from heaven. That's in Luke 21 and 25. There shall be signs in the sun and the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the wave roaring. We hear of disasters every day. Why do you have to look up to the heaven? In the earth, there will be love. Right? Enough and more in the earth. People are looking through the Hubble telescope to find out if there are any disasters in <laughs> There is enough on the earth. They are waiting for asteroids to come. <laughs> Tsunamis. But fortunately or unfortunately, all the tornadoes and all the great winds are caught by ladies' names. <laughs> <laughs> they, come, they come in like a hurricane, you see. They clean up, reach up, and they create havoc in them. I have nothing against ladies. Right? But they are hated so. Think about Katrina, think about Winter. When did it happen? Just few months back, or just few years back. Right? Think of the consistency in which it has happened, the recurrence of these things. And there has been a vision that Oral Roberts had in 2004. And he saw a great thing happen, coming up onto the, uh, onto the place of New York. And suddenly it got dispersed. It was as though such a great disaster is going to take place. But then he saw that it got dispersed. People were praying. People were praying as soon as he told about this vision. And he saw that it has been dispersing into the whole of the world. And I believe, and I think, what he saw is what we are facing today. The recession. I believe it would have been a much greater magnitude. But there were people who prayed. And it dissipated. But even tonight, let me tell you. There are things that we would get in the spiritual if we are connected. As long as we are people who are just living normal lives. Not understanding what God is talking to. I mean talking about these times. And living our own lives in our comfort zone. We may not even be aware, and we may not even be thinking of these things. You know? Moving on. Contamination destroying the earth. There are things that contaminate the earth. Revelation 11 and 18 it says, And nations were angry, and they and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead, and then that they should be judged, and that thou shouldst give reward unto the servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great and should destroy them which destroy the earth. If you think of it, there are things that are really contaminated with earth. Uh, how many of you remember Chernobyl? Yeah. It was a nuclear reactor. Some of the things went wrong there, and it was such a radiation that was going on in that place. Nuclear radiation. And there are many other things. Biological weapons. Have you heard of 
Saddam Hussein taking up a whole uh, group of 